the Maldives remained largely unknown to tourists until the early 1970s. Only 189 islands are home to its 447,137 inhabitants. The other islands are used entirely for economic purposes, of which tourism and agriculture are the most dominant. Tourism accounts for 28% of the GDP and more than 60% of the Maldives' foreign exchange receipts. Over 90% of government tax revenue comes from import duties and tourism-related taxes. The development of tourism fostered the overall growth of the country's economy. It created direct and indirect employment and income generation opportunities in other related industries. The first tourist resorts were opened in 1972 with Banos Island Resort in Kurumba Village, which transformed the Maldives' economy. According to the Ministry of Tourism, the emergence of tourism in 1972 transformed the economy, moving rapidly from dependence on fisheries to tourism. In just three and a half decades, the industry became the main source of income. Tourism was also the country's biggest foreign currency earner and the single largest contributor to the GDP. As of 2008, 89 resorts in the Maldives offered over 17,000 bets and hosted over 600,000 tourists annually. In 2019, over 1.7 million visitors came to the islands. The number of resorts increased from 2 to 92 between 1972 and 2007. As of 2007, over 8,380,000 tourists had visited Maldives. The country has six heritage Maldivian coral mosques listed as UNESCO tentative sites. For many centuries the Maldivian economy was entirely dependent on fishing and other marine products. Fishing remains the main occupation of the people and the government gives priority to the fisheries sector. The mechanization of the traditional fishing boat called Doni in 1974 was a major milestone in the development of the fisheries industry. A fish canning plant was installed on Felavaram in 1977, as a joint venture with the Japanese firm. In 1979, a fisheries advisory board was set up with the mandate of advising the government on policy guidelines for the overall development of the fisheries sector. Manpower development programs began in the early 1980s, and fisheries education was incorporated into the school curriculum. Fish aggregating devices and navigational aids were located at various strategic points. Moreover, the opening up of the exclusive economic zone of the Maldives for fisheries has further enhanced the growth of the fisheries sector. As of 2010, fisheries contributed over 15% of the country's GDP and engaged about 30% of the country's workforce. Fisheries were also the second largest foreign exchange earner after tourism. English is widely spoken by the locals of the Maldives. Following the nation's opening to the outside world, the introduction of English as a medium of instruction at the secondary and tertiary levels of education, and its government's recognition of the opportunities offered through tourism, English has now firmly established itself in the country. As such, the Maldives are quite similar to the countries in the Gulf region. The nation is undergoing vast societal change, and English is part of this. Valanya International Airport is the principal gateway to the Maldives. It is near the capital city mail and is connected by a bridge. International travel is available on government-owned island aviation services, which operates DHC-6 Twin Otter seaplanes into nearly all Maldives domestic airports with several Bombardier Dash 8 aircraft, and one Airbus A320 with international service to India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Thailand. In Maldives, there are three main ways to travel between islands, by domestic flight, by seaplane, or by boat. 153. For several years there were two seaplane companies operating, Trans Maldivian Airways, called TMA, and Maldivian Air Taxi, but these merged in 2013 under the name TMA. The seaplane fleet is entirely made up of DHC-6 Twin Otters. There is also another airline, Flyme, which operates using ATR planes to domestic airports, principally Villa Mamajili, Darabandu, and some others. Manta Air begins its first scheduled seaplane service. Its seaplane fleet is made up of DHC-6 Twin Otter aircraft. In addition to the seaplane service, Manta Air utilizes ATR-72600 aircraft to operate domestic flights to Dalu Airport, Darabandu Airport, and Kudu Airport from the main Valana International Airport, 154, depending on the distance of the destination island from the airport. Resorts organize speed boat transfers to seaplane flights directly to the resort island jetty for their guests. Several daily flights operate from Bulana International Airport to the domestic and international airports in the country. Scheduled ferry also operates from mail to many of the Atoms. The traditional Maldivian boat is called the Speed boats and seaplanes tend to be more expensive, while travel 
by Sony, although slower, is relevantly cheaper and convenient.